Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times three? Mrs. Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr. Threepenstein, she casts a spell and changes him into Threepenstein Clown. One times three is three. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times three? When the mouse two squeaks sees three can sign the monster right in front of her, she panics. She runs away and pushes three can sign as she goes. He falls backwards and a bolt falls out of his head. The twisted bolt takes the shape of a six. Two times three is six. What's the story of three times three? Little three times I loves jumping in big muddy puddles. But Mummy Threekenstein really doesn't like him doing it, but not at all. She immediately dashes to get the shower, in the form of a nine. Hee <laughs> hee, Operation Washdown can start. Three times three is nine. What's the story of three times four? Three can sign is a bit scared of Vamp Four's bite. And one day he does bite his head. Three can sign's metal hair stands up on end. Comes completely unstuck and flies across to stick on Vamp Four's head. One of the vampire's own hair sticks up straight. To get his own back on Vamp 4, Three Consign pulls out this hair and throws it away. The top of the head is shaped as a 1 and the hair is shaped as a 2. 3 times 4 is 12. What's the story of three times five? When three can sign meets baby flaming five, he can't expect to have the worst tricks played on him. <laughs> baby flaming five pulls out a big hammer and delights in banging nails into three can Stein's head. <laughs> Luckily for three can sign, daddy flaming five arrives. <laughs> and takes away the hammer in the shape of a one. Three times five is 15. What's the story of three times six? When Threekenstein meets Scorpy Six, the Joker, he expects the worst. Scorpy Six does indeed have a new idea to tease poor Threekenstein. He stings him and shakes him like a bottle of soda. The pressure 
blows the top of Frankenstein's head off in the shape of a one. Followed closely by his brain springing out in the shape of an eight. Yuck. Three times six is eighteen. What's the story of three times seven? When Frankenstein tries to repair himself by readjusting the nails on his head, he drops the hammer on Ram Seven's foot, who howls in pain. Frankenstein sheepishly uncovers the mummy's injured tie and throws away the strip of bandage in the shape of a two. The mummy snatches up the hammer shows Frankenstein how to hammer a nail and throws away the tool shaped like a one. DIY can really drive you nuts. Three times seven is twenty-one. What's the story of three times eight? Three consigners cleaning his ears with a crank candle. But Spooky Eight, the ghost, makes him jump and he hurts himself with the tool. Furious, he throws down the crank handle. It lands on the Spooky Eight's chain and stops him from moving. Spooky Eight pulls as hard as he can to get free. He finally manages to break the chain in the shape of a two, which whisks away the crank handle in the shape of a four. Three times eight is twenty-four. What's the story of three times nine? Three consign is asthmatic <coughs> and hates it when slimy iron cleans everything from top to bottom. A large cloud of dust <coughs> makes him sneeze. <coughs> he sneezes so hard that he blows out a spring in the shape of a two, <coughs> which flies through the air and breaks the rungs of the ladder. Slimy Nine loses his balance and falls off the ladder onto the ground in the shape of a seven. Three times nine is twenty-seven. What's the story of three times ten? When Frankenstein meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Three times ten is thirty.